Welcome to The Devil's Lair with Randy Meadows and Todd Gann. Welcome back, everyone, to the uh, Devil's Lair. Uh, we've been off for about two weeks. Right. Uh, little, we're going to work every every other week. We're going to have a show ready uh, to bring you the best in Tiff County Athletics and uh, and the kids that, that bring them to us. So uh, welcome back for another edition. Uh, I'm your host, Randy Meadows. And I'm your co-host, Todd Gannon. And we're certainly glad you're here joining us tonight. And I uh, hope we have an informative show for you. And um, you know, it's Tiff County Athletics. Uh, that's what we're here to talk about. And, we uh, <coughs> certainly hope we can bring you lots of good information and and uh, find this show useful. That's right. A, a big thanks to Amer- a Narrow Media. I can't talk today. Uh, Narrow Media for all their help as usual, and uh, special thanks to Donovan and That's his right. wife. They're the best in the world. That's right. So, um, anyways, well, it's been two weeks. That's right. A lot has went on in two Ooh, weeks. Absolutely. A lot's went on in a week, much less two weeks. That's right, so. Randy. It really has. Um, you know, a lot of things in Tiff County, but, you know, nationally we've had some, you know, some things happen that uh, we certainly want to mention the folks up in Connecticut and the tragedy up there and you know, our thoughts and prayers with those folks. Uh, certainly sad to, to have something like that happen, but, you know, in a school environment like that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a hard pill to swallow. It, it and is. I, I mean, our heart goes out to the people in Connecticut. And, uh, you know, we, we'll never know how you feel, but... Uh, absolutely not. You, you can't sit here and say that we would. It would be know, unfair. So, and it, you know, the thing is, Randy, you know, that could happen anywhere. You know, it could happen here in Tifton. Um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's certainly our hearts go out, and you know, I just can't imagine having to go through that. Yeah, for for everything that this show right here is about, you know, that it feels like it negates it a little bit. Oh, you it, know what I mean? I, as, I agree. as much as we try to build up the kids, that's and, right. And our athletic programs, and, and you know, the kids make that up. That's, it's you know, you have something like that happen. That's right. Well, and it just kind of makes you think and wonder what's going on and everything. So that's, that's right. That's exactly right. But uh, but we're thankful down here in South Georgia. You know, yes, absolutely. Um, I pr- pray to God nothing ever happens like that around here. So uh, you know, it, we we certainly do, and uh, certainly certainly you know, hope no community has to ever go through that again. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, big shout out to our people in Connecticut. Sandy Hook community and uh, school up there, you know, our prayers and thoughts are with all of you. And uh, with that said, we'll get into our athletics That's and, okay. and leave the negative behind us. That's right. That's exactly right. Well, let's talk about Blue Devil basketball. It's up and going. That's right. Full force. Full force. Uh, boys, boys are down in uh, Florida and the girls are down in Florida right now. Boys are playing in a pretty big tournament. Uh, you know, Pretty uh, high profile teams down there playing, Randy, and uh, yeah, you know, a lot of pro- high profile you know, teams. Down there. You know, a Tiff Kane's a high profile team this year, number right. fifteen in the nation um, before going into this tournament. So, yep. you know, that's uh, that's pretty amazing right there. The number of teams across this nation to be number fifteen. Yeah, Tiff County is being led again by Todrick Jackson, which everybody's familiar with. Right. But they've got a uh, a new face in Brandon Green. Brandon Green, exactly, who's a commitment to um, the University of Kansas. That's right. Which is obviously a powerhouse in, oh. in uh, NCAA basketball Absolutely. year in and year out. Absolutely. And um, the two of them, are, you know, in the NBA, you got to have the big three. <laughs> right. And now it seems like in high school basketball, you got to have at least two that, that can, pl- oh, that yeah. can play. Oh, yeah. That's right. And uh, these two kids can flat out do it, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard that um, I haven't, I've been to, uh, I went to the scrimmage game. I uh, haven't been to any of the other games yet. I haven't had an opportunity. But I understand that uh, these kids show out a little bit. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I'm, I'm absolutely sure they should with the uh, the talent that they have. That's right. It's just unreal. And you throw in the mix a guy like Donnell Tuff, and I mean, that's right. That's exactly you know, right. That's, you know, a lot of a lot of good kids out there playing, and um, certainly, you know, they've had a lot of success. Um, I believe before going to the tournament, they were nine and zero. Is that right, Randy? Yeah, I believe it was nine and zero. And faced the number one team in the nation yesterday. Yeah, uh, team from California. Uh, I had it wrote down on my other notes, and I walked out and left it. Um, they're from uh, California, uh, Long Beach. Long Beach, California, that's right. Yeah, that's exactly Long, right. Long Beach, Cal, Long Beach, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I um, understand that, um, you know, going into fourth 
period there that Tiff Canyon was down, but I actually made a pretty good run there in the fourth period and actually had a chance maybe to come back and win, but fell just a little short. Yeah, they did. They put it. They they put up a uh, like a twenty four to. 24 to 5 or 20 five to 5 run, run right run, there in the fourth just, period. It just wasn't, they were down, just it, wasn't it, exactly. enough to, to cut it. That's so. right, that's exactly right. Um, but they did come back today and played um, Eagles Landing and uh, had a had a victory there One, against Eagles Landing. Mm-hmm. 177 to 71, exactly. I believe is that's what right. it was. That's right, that's right. Um, it's a good bounce. I mean, you know, a game like yesterday just, just takes so much out of you when you're playing the the number one team that's in right. the land. Oh, yeah, you know. You know, emotionally, right. physically. Right. And so... For them to come out with a 77-71 victory against Eagles Landing, oh, yeah. I think that's, that's very good. solid that's for them, exactly right. them guys. That's exactly right. You know, and <clears throat> you know when you play those types of tournaments and the, see the teams that they're seeing, you know that, that tells you what you've got. I mean, you know, and I think as a coach, you probably that's that's good. I think you need to play in those type of oh, events. Yeah. Oh, definitely, man. You you go down there to a tournament like this, and it just. You know, if you want to be the best, to be the man, you got to beat the man, like Ric Flair said that's back in the exactly day. Exactly right. And uh, you know, you got to go down. And beat. <laughs> Watch out! That sound <laughs> level just blew you away, did it? Um, but you, you've got to go down there and and beat these guys and, and and play with them, and it won't do nothing but make you better. Oh I yeah, promise. Absolutely, so, absolutely. You know, it's just like our region. You know, oh in yeah, our football region. You come in and and you'll be better by the, by the end of the season. You know, you're gonna you're gonna hit somebody hard every week. Yeah, you're gonna grow up quick. <laughs> that's so, exactly right. Uh, you know that that's what it in in a sense that's that's what they should go down there do right. in the city of Palms. Right. So that's, that's right. It's a big tournament, that's man. Exactly and right. it, it's good. And you know what? It does it, it does the kids a lot of good to get away. You know, and learn about other things that's besides that, tipping. It, it does. And again, it goes back to what we've talked about all along. This may be some of these guys' chance to get out of tipping. You know, a lot of them never had that opportunity. Yeah. You know, before they even got to high school, most of them probably never left Tifton. You that's know, right. and a few of them, you know, as they kind of progress along, get to kind of go out to some of these other counties and play. And you know, just being across South Georgia, they've never seen you know some of these towns in South Georgia. And yeah, now to get to travel like this, you at know. least they get to go down, get away from some of this red clay. That's, they get to go down exactly there right. and see, that's you know, exactly some palm trees, red, red clay and gnats. <laughs> gnats, yeah. Well, they could take the gnats with them and drop them off down there. Yeah, for all absolutely, I absolutely. So. But um, well, yeah, the uh, boys team is out to a, a real good start. They um, the, I think their problem this year is going to be discipline. And when I say discipline, I don't mean their behavior or anything like that. Right. I think they're well behaved. I said, but the problem's going to be, <clears throat> you know, you got this kid, Brandon Green, who's come in. Right. He's mm-hmm. new. He's new. He, right. He's he's mm-hmm. a stud. Well, for, you know, three years now, you've had Todrick as being a stud on the his, team. Todrick and his brother, D.D. Exactly. Yeah, and D.D. And, and these guys, you know, so this Brandon comes in and it. It's a different mixture. It's a different mixture. That's, That's right. right. And it's going to be hard. You know, there's only so much pie. you got to cut it up That's the right. right way. That's right. That's and right. And it's going to take a little time for it, them to figure that out. Exactly. Exactly. Now, they'll they'll definitely do it. Right. I mean, there's right. no two ways about it. The talent on this team, there's, I mean, there's, yeah. wow. Well, you know, in basketball, football is too. But basketball, I think, you know, as far as team sports, it's certainly a team sport, man. Oh, yeah. Those, those kids have got to play together and play as one unit. So, that's right. Um, you know, well, if you think Michael gel. Jordan didn't need Scottie Pippen, you're crazy. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. He, he didn't need him every night, but he needed, he needed him. him. That's, <laughs> That's right. exactly right. That's exactly so, right. So um, it, it, it's going to be a good season for Tiff County. Right, right. Um, you know, like they lost last night to the number one team in the country. Oh, yeah. That's nothing to hang your head about. <laughs> no, that's exactly right. If you're gonna lose, lose to the best. Uh, uh, you know, that's exactly right. And they played a good hard game. They didn't get they didn't get slaughtered. You know, they, they were right there with them all the way to the end. So, yep, that's that's great. That's great. So, you know, and you know, primarily, I'm sure their focus is going to be on the state championship. Oh yeah, uh, yeah and this year, that for that's sure. right. It should be. And uh, if it's not, then you know, maybe they don't need to be playing. <laughs> that's right. If it's not, they don't need to be playing. So, but uh. So these tournaments, they got a tournament here in Tifton the following mm-hmm. next week, starting mm-hmm. um, the McDonald's tournament. The right. McDonald's tournament, mm-hmm. um, third annual. Mm-hmm. Um, a few handful of teams come in and whatnot, That's right. mm-hmm. and you know this tournament will prepare them for that tournament, and hopefully we can. I know we've got a match up with um, an Atlanta team, Mill Creek, I think. Oh, they're always tough. Yeah, and they're they're always tough, mm-hmm. and so I know that's how to start with Mill Creek, right. and I don't know where it'll. Progress right, from there. Right. I don't know who all the teams are. Yeah, you know, I think they've had Westlake come in before. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe Milton, I believe. I know Buford played last yeah, year, year before right, last, right, right, and whatnot. Yeah. But we, you know, we played Buford earlier this year, and they're they're pretty solid. Oh yeah, this year they too. are. That's and exactly right. We uh, we beat them eighty six to sixty five. Yeah, right, so right, uh, there's a lot of good things going on on the hard mm-hmm. floors that's of exactly uh, Tiff right. County basketball. That's right. That's right. You know, do you have any updates on the girls? How they're doing? I, I have I really, not. And I, I look. I, I apologize for not really having those. 
kind of stats I, or anything. I looked and I searched, and I didn't come up with anything. Yeah, you know, I, and I, I whoever's it, out there, if somebody can help us with it, that'd be great. That's right. You know, um, I think they've had a couple couple good wins here lately. Um, you know, and they've um, you know been out there a lot without their head coach, Julie Connor. I want to give a shout out to Coach Connor tonight. Um, that's she's, right. Uh, had some health issues lately, but uh, seems to be on the flip side of that now and on the recovery side. And Julie, if you're watching, we certainly wish you well and uh, prayers go out to you and speedy recovery there. I know uh, you, you'd rather be out there on the hardwood. and I don't know how she's doing it. Uh, I tell you, <laughs> if you had her energy, you know, they talk yes. about the energy of little kids. If you had her energy, you could buy all that energy up. I bet she is just fit to be tired, oh, man. don't just, you I know it. I can't imagine. That's I don't exactly know how right. she does it. That's and, exactly right. And you want to talk about somebody that's a champion for Tiff County. You know, not just her girls' basketball team, but, you know, if it's anything involving any kid in Tiff County, she she's there, buddy. She is, man. She, she's behind like it I said, one hundred percent. She is one of my favorite coaches in the Tiff County system, and thank goodness you were there, Coach. Because, I mean, really, uh, any of my kids can go anywhere and do anything with you they want at any point in time. That's because right. that's right. I know they're in good hands. Oh, absolutely, and absolutely. She is an ambassador of oh, Tiff yeah. County that's and, right. and Tiff County you know, Athletics. So. And, you know, I came along a little, little before you in high school, and I had the opportunity to have. Her dad as her, as a teacher, you know. Well, I had her dad too. Oh, okay. Well, now, well, hold on. That's dating him a little bit. I that, that is. Sorry there, Coach. <laughs> yeah, Coach. I didn't. But, uh, you know, just a great family there. They are. That's right. So um, I, I, she's going to bounce back and be oh, fine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I forgot who's – I know Eric Willis is coach, helping coach. Coach Willis is helping. Um, yeah, I think uh, Coach Green, new coach in town. Uh -huh. um, coach Green. And um, there's one other coach. And I, I – <laughs> It's a friend of my niece, uh, Courtney Mitchell, I believe. That's right, Coach Mitchell. That's exactly right. Yep. That's exactly she right. is kind of helping out that's also. Right. There, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's kind of a three-headed coaching monster. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they are doing a uh, fantastic they job. They really you know, are. You know, it, and it's going to be tough for them. You know, it is. It and is. they realize that. You know, and it should be. It should be tough. Yeah. You know, and girls basketball. I tell you, you know, I enjoy watching girls basketball. It's, it gets pretty intense and. Um, you know, they play with a lot of emotion, and it gets pretty physical sometimes. You'd be surprised how physical girls' basketball can get, but it can get pretty physical. Oh, I know. You know. And you know what, man? I, what I hate about girls' basketball is that nobody supports them enough. They they really don't get the support they should. And I'm guilty of it. I, I hate it. Well, but my schedule right now, it's hard for me to hard. be there in time. You know, but well, I, I try. Any I chance I get, I, I try to get out there and well, watch them play. You know, I've actually have tried to, you know, I had gone this year, but in years past, have made more of an effort to try to get to the girls' game than the boys' game. That's right. You know, I uh, really have. So uh, that's right. So we need to we need to find a date on here and just make sure we, you know, pump it up to have everybody there absolutely. for the girls. That's it, right. it should be all of them. Let me take that back. Every Not, girls' game. That's it's, exactly, it's going to be all of that's them. That's exactly right. Get your behinds out there and that's support exactly these right. girls. That's you exactly know? right. And I'm sure if you visit the Tiff County Schools website, I'm sure the schedule's on there. So please check that out. And, Go out and support these folks, man. They uh, they put in a lot of time and effort. <clears throat> they certainly do. You know, um, the coaches. And it's the unfair. Players. It's unfair that that we don't think enough of of the the athletics that the female athletics that That's we right. don't go out there. You know, it's not, not about us, huh? it's not about the sport as much as it's about supporting That's the kids. Right. That's so exactly get out there and support them. That's exactly so, right. Um, I do have a I do have their record right here. Good. They lost to Westover twenty six to forty four. Westover's mm -hmm. a pretty solid oh, team. Oh gosh, yes. Went down to Bainbridge and beat Bainbridge, 53-34, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and lost to Buford, 36-65. We kind of right. took one on the chin right there. Definitely, but definitely. I think Buford's got a pretty solid oh, team, sure too, though. I'm sure they do. On the 14th, they went to Central Macon, and oh. I'm pretty sure they won I that. think they beat Central Macon. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they are. I think they beat Chris County. And I think they beat Chris County. I right. believe I saw Coach update that on right, her right. Uh, Facebook mm -hmm, page. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they're in Dunbar, Florida tonight. Dunbar, okay. That's where hey, it's tonight the 19th? Tonight is the nineteenth. Yep, today's 19th. the nineteenth. Yep. Okay, they're in yep. Dunbar, Florida today, um, or tonight playing. Right, so right. We wish them luck. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, looks like they got a little Florida swing going on. Right, right. They got a, uh, a tournament in Flagler, in mm -hmm. uh, St. Augustine down right, there. So right. that ought to be. I know they're hating that. Yeah, I mean, you know, this time of year and you're at St. Augustine, I mean, that's terrible. I bet Coach is like, really, I had to be sick right now. This is when I had to be I sick. Know, we exactly. go down to the beach and yeah. I'm sick and laid up in the Late. hospital. <laughs> Way to go. Next time, Coach, you call me. I'll sub in for you. 
I can't coach a lick, but I'll high five be with there the best spirit, of them. Right? I'll high five with the best of them. That's right. That's exactly so, right. You'll be the best cheerleader they've had. I will. I'll be the Not, ugliest cheerleader well, they've had. I was going to make a comment about that, but you can beat me to the punch. <laughs> it's funnier when you get to make the jokes, right? It's it is. For you. It is. So leave that to me. I will. Okay. It's therapeutic, Thank I know. <laughs> so anyways, on the 27th, it looks like they have a home game against Cook, and I'm assuming that means the guys do too. No, 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 no really? the guys wow. don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how reliable this schedule is. Okay. I got it off Georgia Prep because I didn't see anything on the website today. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can get them to yeah. get us a schedule okay. up. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but that may be part of the uh, tournament, also. It could be. So it it's just be. not set up on their website right. that way. And sometimes they split up like that if it is a tournament environment. So you know they don't always go to the same tournament. So. Yeah, that's that's right. So, but um, the region. Uh, this region schedule is going to be oh, shaky. Oh, my goodness. For the girls now, uh, it's going to be kind of tough. But mm-hmm. I think the guys should breeze through theirs. I, I don't know who is going to compete with them this year. You know, I, I, I don't. You know, um, coffee has always been a pretty good rival. And Lounge. Um, and, and, well, Valdosta as well as far as the boys' <laughs> yeah, well, side. Lounge, they're all rivals. You know, and Cockwood, they may, I think they're down a little bit right now. Um, two or three years ago, they had some pretty good teams come through. I think they're down a little bit now. But, um, you know, the last couple of years, it's you know, been mostly Lounge, Coffee, and uh, Valdosta. Well, well, what I like about the schedule is, is you've got, um, you've got, um, what am I trying to say? You got West over on the schedule, Crisp. Mm-hmm. Some of these local, local teams, teams, right? Stay they're close. Go, they're going to bring people, oh, yeah. and then we're able to travel too. That's exactly and, right. That's and go exactly there. Right. So, and and I think that's important. You oh, know. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, you've got other games, other places, right. you know, like during Christmas time. That's always, I mean, you're always going to have a Christmas tournament oh, somewhere yeah, that's right. that they're going to go that's to. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Does it happen uh, there when we play uh, Brunswick and Camden? Is that yeah, I games, got it. away games? Um, on the 5th, it's oh, an away game, Saturday, 4 o'clock start in Camden. In Camden County, wow. And, and it's beautiful the way they set that up because yeah. it's so far away, man. Oh, yeah. And right, right. you're still going to get back late. You know? Oh, yeah. A boys' game and a girls' game. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're you're going to get back late. late. That's so, exactly right. But at least they're starting at four, That's man. Exactly they're giving right. us a break there. That's exactly so, right. That's exactly right. Um, Brunswick is away on the 25th of January. Wow. That's a 6 o'clock start. Uh-huh. And we got to have Brun- Brunswick at home January 4th. Okay. I'm sorry. I skipped okay. right over that. Okay. And where's Camden at home? Camden at home on the 26th. Yeah, were, were we as nice to them as they were to us as far as the start time? Yes, okay. 4 o'clock. <laughs> and that's pivotal, 4 o'clock start. Well, good, so good. That's, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm okay with a 4 o'clock Saturday oh, yeah, start. yeah, absolutely. You know, you kind of get, you know, your Saturday done, what you're going to do. And this time of year, you know, it gets dark <clears> early and kind of go on in at 4 o'clock, get, get, watch a little f- basketball. And, you know, the concession stand will be open. You can actually eat you a little something there. And, that's right. Roll right on into the boys' game then, and you know, make an evening of, of basketball, of high school athletics. Absolutely, it doesn't yes. get much better than that. No, it doesn't. So. You know, and I, I think the gym will be packed out again this year. You know, uh, it, it will. And it be, as good as the boys' team is, it's gonna it's gonna draw oh, yeah. people in. That's right. And you know, we're talking about the girls get. You know, that's good for the girls too because yeah, people will. will get there earlier. And they earlier, will. They will. And they'll get that support. That's man. exactly right. That's exactly and right. And I'm telling you. If, if you go to a girls' game and you see Coach Connor get excited, man, there's oh, nothing. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing that's, more that's, exciting than that to me. Exactly so, right. That's exactly right. And with Coach Eric Willis out oh, there, yeah. he's yeah, uh, yeah he's he's a, got a basketball mind. You know, he's he's pretty sharp. Uh, he, he sharp as a tack, man. He is. Uh, he, he can push. He can push those kids. He, and motivate. Yeah, he knows how to. He really does. I, I've played basketball with him, and some people who don't know me are probably laughing right now. But I love playing I know with you're Eric. Still laughing. <laughs> I love playing with Eric because. If you're playing with him, he would just drive you and push uh-huh, you to uh-huh. get, you know. Right. But and then if you're playing against him, he's going to he's going to he's going to needle and prod at you a little bit too, just to let you know <laughs> that, he's there. Let so, you know he's there. That's it. That's and uh, it. he he was a solid, uh-huh. very solid basketball player in his own right. That's right. He, he That's knows exactly right. a lot about he it. He does. So. He really does. Sure does. He he's good for the girl squad. He is. So yep. he good is. luck to them and uh and whatnot. That's so. Right. Um, well, how do you think uh, how do you think the region is going to shake out in basketball? Well, you, you know, I, I really don't know how the rest of the region is going to be. I'm kind of like you on that. I'm kind of you know feeling my way through it this year. Uh, you know, Tiff County certainly. I think everybody's probably got uh, the target as Tiff. You know, I, I really do. It, it should um, be. You know, I, Camden and Brunswick. We don't know a lot about them as far as basketball. I uh, don't know what kind of program they have. Uh, yeah, coffee's always going to play as tough, probably as tough as anybody, and. Uh, you know, Lowndes, that's always a, you know, that's always a big game too. So I had a lot of close games with Lowndes and Coffee both. 
So you know, I don't. I, you know, it's hard to say how this sta- how <clears throat> stacks up. Well, I don't know. It they've got a one A and a one B. Did they split the region into subregions? Yeah, for, for basketball? basketball, it looks like they have, and that's possible. And I didn't know they did that. Yeah. So you know, I don't know how the scenarios are going to play I, out. Know, I don't the, know the legally. region schedule exactly. and the tournament and all that's right. going to play you know, out. They, I don't know if they'll have a region tournament. And I'm sure they will. Know, I don't know. Um, I love region tournament. I love the re- it's, it's I don't know where it's at this year. Right. Where was it at last year? I don't know. I don't know, but when they start playing in Camden, yeah. boy, that's going to be oh, tough. Oh, I'm telling you. You know, back when Houston <laughs> County and uh, those teams were in our region, you know, I think the region tournament was up there a couple times mm-hmm. up, at, up at Houston and uh, some good games up there. I agree. So, anyway, well, good luck to both of them squads. Absolutely. We wish them uh, all the best. We wish them all the best. That's right. Um, that's right. Go out and support these kids, please. Yeah, exactly. So, um Good, good luck to them both, and, and mm-hmm. you know, if you've got a kid that's playing on either one of them squads and you want to get them on our show for the world to see, get with us. That's our right. information is down here at the bottom of the screen. We'll be more than glad to uh, put together some footage mm-hmm. with your help. That's and, right. And, and, and we'll get your— Help and permission. That's right. Help and permission. We'll get your kid out there and uh, and and get them seen and, and show them to the world. That's right. So, that's exactly right. Anyways, well, let's move on, Todd. Okay. Uh, Let's take a let's take a break from Tiff County Athletics and talk about the GHSA State football okay. playoffs. All right, yeah, we've talked a lot about football here on the show, and That's you know, right. it, football season just wrapped up. Um, you know, and um, tournament, big tournament last weekend, uh, finals up in Atlanta at the Georgia Dome, and you know we got a few folks that come out on top there. That's right. Um, we'll, we'll run through the uh-huh. uh, the the winners uh, in single A private. Mm-hmm. They've got single A in private and public. Public, exactly. And they're, it's crazy because they, they're they based on power rankings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how in the world you can, you can. I mean, I guess it's like the BCS. You just, we're going to put They have you, a formula of some sort. A formula some, of some, some sort, sort. And that's how they get these, these top 15, 20 teams. I forgot how many goes. Yeah, right. Well, <clears throat> there was a team who had a better record. And another team in single A, I can't mm-hmm. remember who it was. Mm-hmm. And because their power ranking was better, the the, the, the team with the most losses got got, to, the, got to the got the bid. That's so right, exactly. I, it's kind of like the SEC, you know. You, you, it, so now these guys are going to have to play power oh schedules. Oh gosh, yeah. You know, and in high school, it just seems a little unfair. To, yeah, that I, I, don't I, don't, like I, don't, I don't like it. It's not time for this in high school football. They, they can't like that. I, so you know, as a coach, boy, you got to be sitting there just hating. Life right yeah, now. So now you got to go out and schedule all these tough teams. Oh, so yeah. So you, you get, get three losses, rankings. you move up in the power rankings still yeah. because your strength of schedule. That's, and that's exactly right. At single A level, that's kind of. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? You don't have a lot of teams to choose from. You don't. You really don't. Um, do you, you know, schedule all 5A teams? I mean, how do you do that? Uh, yeah. You know, so it, which there are some teams out there that could, you know, I think it just as easily beats a 5A or 6A team as anybody. You know, I mean, well, they're out there. You know, this or is play the, with them anyway. This is the first year I've watched less state playoff football mm-hmm. this year than I have ever. Right. And I guess part of me is ashamed. I don't know. I just Well, you you know, I think Randy the thing is you and I both have a lot going on and sometimes you just don't have time to do the things you once did. Especially as your kids get older. Yeah, Lord knows. Good gracious. And I got one on the way too, so <laughs> It ain't getting any better for me, but you got a you long know. road to hoe, as they say. I'm have to get me a new hoe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, anyways, let's get into who won and who didn't. Sometimes you know that oh, disease, that's, that's Leanne texting right now. <laughs> come on, man, this is a family show, and um, sometimes my, I say things without thinking, and we've talked about it, and this is this one is of a, them. There's a right time and a right place. I've done so well for a few weeks. <laughs> you have. I, I, I have, yeah. yeah. You really have. I'm I've been working on credits to you. I have. I yeah, maybe an injury or two might have I, had something to do with that. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Anyways, um, single-A private school, Eagles Landing Christian. Right. Mm-hmm. Always. A, they're always, always in, there. They're always in the mix. Yeah, that's not a big surprise. No, absolutely not. Um, single-A public school, mm-hmm. Emmanuel County Institute. Right. And uh, I, Wash, I Wash on Ely uh-huh, went to school right, there. exactly. Uh-huh. And his brother played running back after he uh-huh, left from uh-huh. there. And I refereed their game a couple years ago. Oh, is that right? Wow. And they're pretty daggum good. Well, and they have been for a long time. They have. And, um, you know, I've been to the Dome and actually saw part of their game in the Dome, semifinal game in 
you know, they, they, they've been strong for a long time. Yeah, and then double A, you got Jefferson County. Yeah, which B. Fitzgerald, what, in the quarterfinals, I believe? Uh-huh, sure and, did. And, um, you know, actually kind of shocked Fitzgerald. I mean, that game was uh, not even close, was it? Not not close at all. You know, and then the following week, I forgot who they played. It was like a 21-17 to yeah, 17 game exactly, or something like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. And I was like, ooh, really? Yeah, So, exactly. But double A, Jefferson County wins. And triple right. A, not a surprise, I don't guess, is Buford. Yeah, that's not a surprise. I mean, really? <laughs> they, they're always there. Always. you know. At, how many state championships do you think that's for Man, them? I don't know. You know. I mean, they're always there. Always. They're the new Valdosta. I agree. You know, if there's a Valdosta that you know, is a football dynasty now, it, it'd have to be Buford. Yeah, man, that's you know, just there was, unreal. You know, there was some, I think, uh, Coach Holmes, is that the coach up there? Is that his name? Roger Holmes? What's up, Holmes? No, that's a different name. Is that the coach Buford? I thought Holmes was at uh, Dublin. That's right. Holmes is at Dublin. But there was, uh, you know, I back. I remember. The, yeah, but. Uh, he's coach. Yeah, there. he's been there a long time. He has been there a long time. Um, but so a lot of success up there. That's right. And uh, 4A is Sandy Creek. The now, Warriors yeah, from Sandy Creek. Now they beat. Sandy Creek beat. They 4A. beat Ridgeland. Ridgeland. Yes, four, four Ridgeland. To ten. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Oh, you got scores and everything there? Yes. Well, here you call them well, out. You know, I'm okay. sorry. Well, that's fine. I well, didn't mean to step on your toes. Well, you know. This, we'll start over. Let's go with the single A private. Really? Eagles Landon, yeah. who they played. Well, they played um, Prince Avenue Christian, and uh, it was 33 to nothing. So, you know, they easily, easily handled Park Avenue there. And uh, like I say, no surprise there. They, they're, yeah, they're good. They're good. Have been for a number of years. Um, and who did ECI play? They played Dooley County. That's right. Yes, yes you I'm know, sorry. Boy, I actually was listening to part of it on the radio, and I was able to pick it up. And, uh, you know, kind of a South Georgia team there, I feel like, and certainly was pulling for them. And doggone, they didn't come up short 47-7. to seven. They squeaked it out, didn't they? Wow, 47-7. <laughs> to seven. So, you Dang, know, Dooley. Yeah, I know. You know, I certainly was pulling for them. Uh, now, I do know that there were a lot of scouts at that game, uh -huh. um, at the Dooley County game, to watch. Uh, there's a, a number of athletes that yeah, were on the exactly. field. Yeah, um, exactly. Probably Greg Purcell's one of them. Yeah. Um, James Brown. Jake. The Godfather of Soul? Woo! Not that James Brown, but James Brown. He's that going to kill you, man. <laughs> keep blowing up his headset like that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Donovan. But, Jeez. You know, um, but uh, yeah, both of them combined for 330 yards. And, um, you know. Whew. Uh, it's a lot of yards. It, it is. Um, so, you know, like I say, probably a lot of scouts there watching those two kids. And, um, yeah, 47-7. You know, I was sure hoping better things for Dooley County there. So, but then Jefferson beat Calhoun. Calhoun was a good team. Yeah, I, I kind of predicted Calhoun to win. I, I really did, too, you know. I, I really thought they would be. I uh, told uh, Mar our buddy Marvin, I told yeah. him that, that they were going to. Yeah. I said, I feel like Calhoun's probably going to exactly win that right. thing. Exactly and he was right. like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. but it was 31-14 uh, was the final on that game. And um, probably was a good game, you know. I have two good teams right there. Um, but then uh, you get to Triple A, it was Sandy, Sandy Creek and uh, Ridgeland. Well, I skipped Buford. Buford beat St. Pius. St. Pius 6. 10-3. Close game. That's not a Buford ball game right there. They normally put normally up they, points. Normally, you know, I expect to see 70 to 3. <laughs> you know, know, that's what I think all of the state playoff games should be. Like close. A team's close game. Absolutely. You know, if you're that good and if you made it to the final, I mean, you know, you would expect a close game, close yeah. score. But, you know, a lot of times they are lopsided, you know, and for whatever reason, I don't know. But um, yeah, I guess that's how the brackets kind of play out and who's good and who's not good at the time yeah that's that's true you know so um but he's you know, got the hot hand normal. that's exactly right but then uh sandy creek and Ridgeland, that was 45 10 that was triple a that's triple a triple a and then uh four a you had uh gainesville at, in ware county uh no five a five a is gainesville and ware five, excuse me my old eyes are just not quite <laughs> as good as they should. Five A, the Gainesville Red Elephants that, played uh, uh, Ware Cross. County Gators, and uh, I watched a little bit of that at halftime. Yeah, and the medication I'm on makes me go to sleep, and I man, I fought it. I was <laughs> trying, and Ware come out after halftime, right. intercepted at the goal line, ran it back to about the forty. Right, was about to go in and score, threw an interception. The guy ran it back in for six. And when that happened, I, I just quit fighting. Right. I said, yep. I'm out. Yep. I can't yep. do it no yep. more. But, uh, yeah, Gainesville wound up winning 49 to uh, 13. I think that's the second or third time in the last couple of three years that Ware County's been there and came up a little short. Uh, you know, they've, they've had a pretty solid program. 
uh, last well, few years. Yo, definitely, man. They, I, they had a coach down there two or three years ago, and I can't remember his name. And Coach uh, Dudley's there now. Coach Dudley's there now, but they had a guy that was there before him. and Ragel. Coach Ragel, exactly. I don't know where Coach Ragel wound up, but he was, seemed like a great coach. Uh, he retired, as far wow. as I know, and I had a little contact with his son. I knew uh-huh. his son a little bit. Uh-huh. And... uh you know, I, it was my understanding he he was done. Yeah. And now he might be somewhere coaching right. now. I don't right, know, but right. of the coaches out there, man, Regal was about as good as you get. Yeah, he, he's kind of hard to beat. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he just seemed to have that little bit of special touch to him, and you know, you could tell he cared about the kids and loved the game, and you know, just wanted the best for his kids. Yeah, he did, man. And he, he he was a. He, he was a, a big guy. He I was mean, a big guy. He, he like, I'm, I'm talking. This cat had some guns yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. And, you would think he was like just this intimidating guy, yeah, but he really was. Teddy bear, wasn't yeah, he? he he really was just yeah. this nice guy. Now he right. can be nasty when he needed to be. Well, you know, as a coach, I think you have to have that in you too. You, you do, you, you know, really do. But yeah. he uh, he was he was pleasant. Now Dudley, I like Dudley yeah, too. Right, I don't, um, don't know much about Dudley. He's kind of you know, he's kind of blunt and frank uh-huh. with it. like when we talked to him before the games and stuff. He just kind of. Point blank with right, us. He don't right, hold no punches. Right, right. And I love that, man. Yeah, I that's mean, what I like. That's what you, you kind of just know where you stand with him. That's man. right, because <laughs> I, I'm going to be the same way with him. Right, so. right. But his father was an SEC official. Oh, is that right? Wow. How about he that? sure was. How about that? And he, uh, so that obviously, you know, being an official myself, it made, it excited me. And I was gotcha. like, well, that's good. And yeah. so we went out and he gave us a compliment. And I was like, well, thank you. That, I mean, it meant a lot. I figured he knows a little bit about officiating. Yeah, yeah. But he was probably lying because you know how coaches are. <laughs> right. What? What? I, Hello? I, I, what? <laughs> Crickets. Chirp, 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 chirp. Uh, so, anyways, what happened in the 6A game? Well, there, Todd? Norcross and Lovejoy, and Norcross came out on top 21-14. I kind of, I, you know, when the, when they got to the Norcross and Lovejoy both got to the final game, I really kind of felt man, like Norcross. There's some D1 on that field right oh, there. Oh, what there's are a bunch you talking of people. about? You know, and, you know, that's great for Norcross, man. It's cool. I think, what, 56 years they've been in existence. Uh, Gwinnett County School you know, survived that long, never made it to the final game like that, and for to come up as a winner, winner, chicken dinner, man, I'll tell you, that's great. Um, I actually had two uh, cousins that went to school at Norcross. So, you know, I've kind of followed them for a while through the years, and, uh, you know, uh, since we weren't there and none of our teammates from South Georgia were there, I've, I was kind of pulling for Norcross. Well, here's the positive we can take out of this Norcross victory. The Blue Devils won. The Absolutely, time. the Blue Devils won. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's so exactly the Norcross right. Blue Devils. That's exactly won. right. That's exactly I right. I love their uniform scheme. Yeah, I do too. Did they, they boy, gray on oh blue. Man, and man. Did you see how snug they fit too, and just well, that's because their kids are fit and trim. Oh, is that they're, what it was? Okay. They're not like me, ugly, poorly. Well, and I didn't know if it was just man boobs, and they don't have that kind of stuff. Well, I just there. you know I didn't know if they were short on money, and had to buy undersized clothing, <laughs> or you know I didn't figure that was the case. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, but no, hold on now. To be fair, these kids today wear tight clothes. <laughs> They do. <laughs> I know, man. Wow. Males, females, all of them. Yeah. I just, it's unreal sometimes. It so. is. It really is. But, uh, man, you know, good game sound. You know, I watched part of it. I was able to watch part of it, and I was kind of like, you yeah, wasn't under any medication. But, boy, my eyelids were real heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, um, you know, Norcross and uh, Lovejoy, I, I thought it I thought it had a matchup of probably the two best teams. Oh, I, I agree. I thought it was a good matchup. I, I agree. I the agree. 21-14 score. That kind of shows you it was. Yeah, that's right. You know, Norcross, I think, was down and had to come back from, from being behind to win that game. Um, so, you know, um, kudos to them. Uh, you know, one thing, and I don't know if you know this or not, um, kind of a little sideline here. Was, what little bit of football I did watch up there in the Dome, it looked like the crowds were down this year. Did you notice that? Well, that's what everybody's saying. You know, um, I just – You know, it, it from – a lot of people I know who went up there and everything, you know. And you kind of got to wonder, since it's on TV, does that kind of take take away from it? Since, you know, people say, hey, I can just stay home and watch it. Do you, you wonder if that takes away from it? I don't think so, because when we went a few years ago, yeah. man, we had the whole home side filled yeah, up. I, you're right. The whole bottom level and the upper, upper level, level. The, the second deck was yeah, full. Yeah, yeah, So I don't know that you can say that. Um, but Maybe at the same just, time... Look at Atlanta, man. I well, mean, and that that could be it. I mean, you had a all two, these teams are in Atlanta. That's exactly right. So you you may not quite have the fan base you would down here in South Georgia. Um, you know, that's probably got a little something to do with it. Um, they prob- they probably get to watch it on TV all the time up there. That's that's true. That's exactly you know, right. We don't down here. So. Uh, that's true. That's true. It, um, 
you know, and living in Atlanta, the dome's not a, quite as big a deal to them, maybe as it is for some of these kids down here in South Georgia, you know? That's right. So, um, I don't know, but it just looked like the crowds were down this year for what little bit I watched. You know, hey, who knows? It's an election year, and, you know. I mean, it's over with. That's what everybody says. When, <laughs> when the economy's down, well, it's an election it's a year. year. Exactly, exactly. The oh. fair's in town, and you know, I mean, that's, what, that's what it's been forever when I was a kid. That's I don't right. Know. That's exactly right. Old, I'm trying school. to chalk it up and give you a little insight uh, on some, you know, oh, okay. but you don't want my, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's Christmas time. They're buying Santa Claus right now. That could be the other part of it. <laughs> it's tough out there. It is tough. It so, is tough. Sure anyways. Is. Well, what do we want to move on to, Todd? Well, we kind of touched on uh, basketball, wrapped up a little football there. Um, you know, wrestling. Wrestling's going strong right now, Randy. Um, high school and uh, middle school. So, um, you know, I think the high school, um, they have uh, had a couple tournaments they've gone to. Uh, they went to Loganville, wrestled up there in the tournament, and I think they did fairly well. I'm not sure exactly where they placed. Um, um, Normally, I would I would know, but I've had a one of my kid, my son, who wrestles, has been a little sick, hadn't been able to participate, and uh, yeah. you know, and last week they went to uh, Cook County and uh, actually won that tournament down there. Um, so I, I did talk to Coach Watson a little <clears> bit, and he was he was pleasantly surprised at that win. Uh, who wasn't Val Austin Lounge? Oh down yeah, there exactly, and exactly. Some, so some of our heavy hitters in the region, were. and actually they were up pretty good in points going into the final round, and. Um, you know, kind of, I think he kind of got let down a little bit in the final round, but they still pulled out a win there. Pretty good win. I can't remember exactly what the team score was, but, uh, you know, it was great that they came away from that with a with win. Um, this weekend, they're headed over to Fitzgerald Tournament over there. And that's the thing about wrestling. A lot of these, you know, a lot of this is tournament-type deals. You know, you have a few uh, team dual meets, um, but a lot of the wrestling is actually, you know, a tournament-type event. So, um, if to do those, you usually have to travel. The wrestling team has traveled quite a bit and still got a lot of traveling to go this year. Yeah. Um, but uh, they're doing well. They're kind of young this season. Um, you know, got a couple kids kind of stepping up to play. I think uh, last time I checked, Bo Bargeron um, is undefeated, I believe, on the season. Um, he may have one loss now, I think, but uh, he's done real well. Uh, I watched him wrestle last year at sectionals, and um, he – He's a phenomenal wrestler. He, he really man. is. And you just looking at him, you know, sometimes these kids have a look to them that you know they're a good wrestler. You look at him and you just, eh, you know. <laughs> but, man, he gets out there on that mat. He's he's a beast out there. He, he really he, is. You know, man. and he just makes it look like just a walk in the park sometimes. He's a super nice kid, too. Great kid. Good grades. Um, you know, I, I know he, um, I know his family very well. And he's Causes no problem at home. I mean, he does what he's supposed to do when he's supposed to do it. Good kid. Yeah. Good, solid kid. So that, That's good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm proud of him. Oh, I I'm am glad too. for him. He's, I definitely. He's doing a lot of good things that's up there. Right. That's right. And exactly. I think he's a junior. I believe he is a junior. I, you know, I may be wrong on that. I think he is a junior. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, but he's done well. Uh, another kid, Jesse Snow's done pretty good this year. Um, you know, he, um, last couple of years, has kind of kind of just – Floundered his way through wrestling a little bit, and this year he's kind of just seemed to. It's kind of just, you know, that light bulb came on with him, and he's he's had a good year. So, uh, well, he helps us whenever he can with mm -hmm, our um, mm -hmm. USA team, right? And he is phenomenal. He man. really is, and he's he's kind of hilarious once you get to know him. He's, <laughs> he 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 likes to have a good time. He does, man. That's bad for me. I don't want him to be around me too much because uh, he and I get in trouble. So. We cut up so much. Yeah, and, yeah, probably good. <laughs> and he's out there working with his kids, and I'm messing with him, and I'm, I'm I just, I don't want to get him in trouble, so I try to stay away from that's him. Right, that's but right. But he is a, a pleasure and a joy to have around, right, man, right. And, and a good wrestler, oh, a good yeah. athlete. That's right. That's right. Um, it was funny the other day. Um, I hadn't seen him in a little while, and I said, I said, Jesse, what you been doing? He said, eating. <laughs> I just started. I mean, he's putting on some weight now. I'll give yeah, it to him, and, yeah. and I just assumed. That coach was trying to get him to gain a little oh, weight no, or something. Oh, no, absolutely not. I said, I said, what you been doing? Like some protein? Whatever. He said, <laughs> chicken and pork. And I just started laughing. <laughs> that's it. I you said, know. well, that's a good way to do uh, it. But so, yeah, he's, he's, he's mushroomed on out there. and he's, <laughs> a, out. He's, a, he's, a, he's a big kid. And now, look, you know he's bigger than you and I. So is his dad. <laughs> yeah, his dad's not. He's not small either. Oh, no. Pee-wee. So, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Mr. Snow, I'm sorry to talk about your kid. I, 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 I didn't mean that. <laughs> and, about, and Mr. Snow, we're sorry to talk about your dad, too. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> the mud stomp us in the ground. That's exactly right. But, uh, yeah, good kids there. Um, you know, another kid that's you know, had a pretty good season is Gunnar Schimmel. I mean, he's had a good year. So, um, And there's some others. I can't remember their names. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to try to try to do a little bit better with that. Uh, Hopefully, I can talk to Coach Watson and maybe get a few stats before our next show. And certainly, certainly. Certainly uh, promote a few more of these kids and hopefully have some maybe some footage or something like that for some of the matches. So yep. we're working on it. We're trying to get better as we go. What uh, what does the high school team have going on this weekend, Tom? Uh, they're going to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, Georgia. Um, you know, they're going there. Uh, when is that? Is that Friday? It's Friday. I think it starts actually Friday morning, so they'll wrestle. It's kind of a – I'm not sure the tournament format. I think each kid will wrestle about four times on Friday, and then they seat them for Saturday. Super. Uh, you know, so, um, you know, I, the, each kid will get a lot of time over there wrestling. And it's a JV tournament as well going on at the same time. So, you know, varsity and JV. So there'll be a lot of wrestling going over. And you know, I don't know how many teams is going to be there or what have you, but uh, it sounds like it's going to be uh, two fun filled days of wrestling. So, well, good. That sounds like fun. You know, and then after that, I think they got the Valdosta tournament, which is always a big, um, you know, you'll pretty much have all your region teams there at Valdosta. Um, <clears throat> So that'll be a big tournament, I believe, the following weekend. And um, then um, BDI. BDI is coming up. That's January 19th. 19th. January 19th um, at Tiff County High School to BDI. And certainly encourage everybody to come out and support that. Uh, last year was a big day, long day. Uh, went on into the night because we had so many teams. Uh, I think we wound up with like 16 teams there last year or something yeah, like that. It, it was, was huge. A big handful. Huge. Um, you know, it started Friday night, actually, I believe. No, they didn't because of basketball. They could not start on Friday That's night. That's right. But I think they can this year. This year, the, there's not a basketball game on Friday. I think, though, the plan is just to start early Friday to set up and have things ready to go so they can start as early as they can Saturday morning. Um, but uh, that'll be a big day, big fun day. So, um, you know, that's, that's the opportunity here in Tifton to come see some varsity wrestling. So I encourage you to come out January the 19th and watch these kids. And That's right. Then it'll kind of get on into the latter part of the season where they'll have the uh, – Dual tournaments to kind of find out where each region, you know, what who they'll send to state dual tournament, and then you got your individual tournaments coming up too. So, um, you know, you know, I don't know how we'll do in the duels. You know, last year we we won region yeah. and um, went to the state duels. Uh, you know, top two teams go, if I'm not mistaken. That's mm -hmm. how that works out. And then uh, then you will have the sectionals determine your individual, and that'll be up in oh wow, way up in North Georgia where the sectionals are this year. Are they? Uh, yes. Cherokee, I think. Cherokee, I believe that's right. But it's, uh, you know, a lot of wrestling still left to go. And, um, you know, her, I feel like we'll have some kids individually maybe go to state this year. I really do. Um, I, I do too. And I think we should as, as long I, as you keep your head screwed on well, straight. Keep them screwed on straight and uh, stay healthy. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. That's, been, that's, you know, kind of been an issue that we've been battling <clears throat> our own house. So um, I think a lot of people have been battling that. Yeah. So injuries well, and what have you, huh? Yeah, injuries. <laughs> There's a difference in being hurt and being injured. <laughs> this is Injur true. Injured, injuries are serious. Being hurt, you can bounce back from them. Like, <laughs> that's exactly you know, right. You shake it off, rub some dirt on yeah. it or something. That's it. That's yeah. being hurt. Well, being injured is when you're out of commission. Yeah. So, well, you know, neither one of them. You know, if it's you, just happened to. Don't hurt me so bad. But if it's you yourself, then yeah. <laughs> just say I'm it. injured, Todd. <laughs> I am injured. Mostly, too. mostly physically, <laughs> mentally. You name it, statistically, financially. Beat, beat down drug out. I mean, yeah, just just beat up, just that's, that's falling right. apart. Well, you know, good thing about it, 2013 will be here before you know it, and you can start a new start year. Start a new chapter, that's right? That's exactly right. <laughs> Yay. Actually, 20... you don't have to worry about it because the world ends Friday. That, this it is does. True. That's true. That's why I haven't paid any of my bills this month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. I wonder if that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> you know, so, you know. We'll see. 2013. Maybe. We may see it, we may not. Maybe. So <laughs> the Mayans in that calendar, who knows? <laughs> I had a friend of mine put on Facebook today that said, uh, if the Mayans were so smart at predicting the future, wouldn't there still be some Mayans left? <laughs> <laughs> that's like, touche, yeah, yeah, touche. Right. That's right. So anyway. I thought it was pretty funny. So, but so. Uh, that's kind of an update on the high school wrestling. I think you maybe have some updates on uh, middle school wrestling, and I think they're having some a great year as well. They are. Um you know, I've mentioned before earlier in our, our earlier editions of earlier episodes, the middle school wrestling team, 8th Street Middle School, is 
back-to-back defending conference champions. And uh, with that, they've kind of hit this year rolling a little mm-hmm. bit, man. Mm-hmm. They've, uh, I think they've lost one match all year. Um, wow, that's great. That, yeah, that is great out of about eight matches so far. Mm-hmm. Um, two weekends ago, we had the uh, the 8th Street Middle School BDI. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got a little footage from it. Donovan... Um, this is one of our wrestlers. He wrestles for 8th Street Middle School and for the Tifton Takedown Club. His name is uh, Wesley Hodnett. Oh, okay, Wesley. Good good kid. Yeah, very good kid. He uh, He's doing some good things right there on the mat, trying to uh, take down this kid from, uh, I think that kid right there is from Crisp. Yeah, it looks like a Crisp County uniform. <clears throat> and he, uh, he's had a rough time with this kid all season. Uh-huh. And finally, in this match, he, he beats this kid and pins him. Wow. And it was like a, a, a weight lifted off his shoulders. But uh, he did not finish first Saturday in this, in this tournament, but wow. he did finish second. Yeah. You know, and, you know, when you have that kid that you keep running up against and, you know, you just get close, get close. When you finally do defeat them, man, those kids, man, when they do that, it's, it's just like a big boost. That's exactly right. So let, um, me, let yeah. me ask a question. <laughs> Go ahead. The, the girl walking around with the stick. Yeah, that's right. What is that? I mean, I know she hit the referee on the back. When he don't act right, that's she whips exactly right. it. Oh, come on now. <laughs> she, she is. Um, she's like, Matt, no, she's a Mac girl, right. which which there's a bunch of Mac girls in the school system. Mm-hmm. They volunteer, and what they do, they help with the wrestling program. Mm-hmm. They work at the tournaments. They make spirit bags, and they're a vital, vital part to the wrestling team. Uh, first of all, at that age, especially, this sounds awful with the hormones running crazy. You know, you, guys chase girls. Well, the girls are turning around and making goodie bags for these guys, and and uh, that's their that's they each are assigned wrestlers. But what's normally. the stick? I, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. So the these story girls, behind the story. That's right. These girls come out and they uh, they volunteer. They keep score and that kind of stuff. Well, mm-hmm. when time runs down, the referee may not know because he's across the mat. Mm-hmm. The girls whack them with the whacker, and I forgot what the technical term for. I call them a whacker. Bopper whacker. Bopper whacker, yeah. And they uh they they hit that, him and the referee knows then that they are going that to rounds, that rounds over right. and they'll oh, move okay. to the next one. Right. So okay. it's basically a timekeeping method That's letting right. the referee know so right. so no more points can be scored right. or deducted. So right. you you'll wrestle three <clears throat> two minute time periods yeah. and unless it goes in overtime or something like that. Yep. But uh That's exactly right. So um they uh They're very important and I tell you I've been to some matches where it's gotten close, and they didn't get bopped like maybe when they should have gotten bopped, and somebody scores a point, and it gets a little little testy. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, they had four matches running to 8th Street Middle School here, and, um, you know, uh, my stepson is re- videotaping this for me because you can see me in the background working the uh, table back there, but we uh, – so I didn't get to do it, but he did a pretty good job, and I want to thank him. His name's Cameron Perry. He didn't get to wrestle here because – he uh, he had an injury, so he hurt his foot, and he's bouncing running back in the family. That. Yeah, well, wow. my, I hurt myself all over, and he hurts his foot. So, um, but he didn't get to, but he sure helped me uh, record a few things, and uh, he did a wonderful job with that. So I want to thank him for that. But uh, and I want to wish him happy birthday. Yeah, his birthday was Saturday. That's right. And uh, you know, we we wrestled down in uh, Lounge Saturday too. We came in second in that tournament. Mm-hmm. And uh, we won the BDI here in Tifton. Let's talk about the BDI. We come in first. Uh, we we come in first with seventy five points. Lowndes came in second with thirty nine points. Goodness gracious! And you know that uh, we thumped in pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I think Coffee came in third, then Valdosta. Really? Wow! And then Pine Grove, which is a Valdosta mm-hmm. school, um, Lee County, and Crisp. So. Um, Big kudos to them guys. They've uh, they've been working their behinds off out there, and um, they've they've been getting after it and and trying to get ready for this conference tournament in a few weeks. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, they actually went over to Coffee last night, beat Coffee and Ware. Good. Um, and and did it convincingly. So oh, that's good. That Eight Street program is really on, on the up and up, and or. Maintaining, I guess, but you don't ever want to maintain. You always want to continue to get better. Continue to get better. And here we got Mason Crosby, who is uh, another member of the 8th Street Middle School team. And he wrestles with the Tifton Takedown Club. And uh, he, I think he actually loses his match, 
but it was a phenomenal match. And I think Cameron has a hard time keeping the camera steady here because he was cheering so hard because <laughs> I think everybody was cheering in, in this one because, yeah. it, you know, obviously when you get, you know, there's four mats going, it's hard. You hear cheers going on and you don't understand why sometimes whenever you're out there on the mat right. and you think mm -hmm. it's like, why, why are they cheering for this mat? And, no. they, and it really is irrelevant. It's something going on on another mat. But, uh, but it's phenomenal. If you, you ever get a chance to go to a tournament, man, just go check it out. That's it, right. That's exactly it, right. It's a, a true feat uh, of strength. Yeah, and You know, and it doesn't take long to kind of pick up on the score and how that works, um, you know. And once you <clears> kind of get a kind of an idea of what's going on, man, it's, it's, it's fun. It is fun. I love it, man. I really do. Um, these kids are doing a lot of good work. And, you know, a lot of them, especially at the 8th Street, is putting in extra work because mm -hmm. they're, doing they got, they, they're doing USA after mm -hmm. their, their practice. And, you know, if you're inter interested in uh, getting started in USA wrestling, um, you can go to the Tifton Takedown Club on Facebook. Uh, we're on there. Uh, obviously, it, it's it's good. There's strength, agility, discipline. Uh, there's a lot to be learned mm -hmm. from it. Um, learned, not learned. learned. Not learnt with the T. Yeah. It's um, a it's just a great sport. It teaches a lot of things. I mean, especially the discipline part of it. I mean, because you got to be disciplined, and um, it, it's it's fun. It's great. Uh, you know, I can't think of a better sport to really be involved in. Yeah, I mean, you get there's uh, conditioning, cardio. <laughs> like I said, it'll build muscle. I mean, flexibility. I mean, you name it. A wrestler has it, so, well, and you got to think a little bit too. That's right, you know. And I, I'll go back to when Mason got through with football and went out to wrestling for her first practice after football season ended, and you know you, you feel like he's in pretty good shape. First day out there, he, I killed him. <laughs> so you yeah. know, it, wrestling's tough. It's tough. So uh, that's right. So, but know. there's a good group of coaches at yep. the uh, at the USA level to. Uh, to, to be around your kid and get your kid involved, and it gives them something to yeah. do in this time of the year, oh, yeah. exactly. which is detrimental to yeah. a lot of kids. That's so. exactly right. Well, it's good. it's a good sport to be involved in. It's not WW Randy. It's 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 it's, it's wrestling. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 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 not wrestling. It's not wrestling. It is it's wrestling. wrestling. Not so. It's a, uh, very good. They uh they've got their conference coming up at the same time the BDI right. for the high school is, mm -hmm. which will be the nineteenth. Right. And these guys are getting ready for that, and they're on their way to some good things. So. Um, they ran into a team this weekend, Swanee, Florida. Oh, wow. Woo! Yeah, them boys fits this yeah, weekend. Yeah, Swanee's great. I mean, I know they were up here at the BDI for the uh, high school last year. Mm -hmm. they're, they're good. Um, very technical. I think we, I think we ran good. into them last year at Valdosta as well. Probably. Um, two or three different times last year. And those, those kids are, they got a great program going on down there, you know. Yeah. And, and you know, Randy, I, th I think it goes back to, you know, these, these wrestling clubs, Wrestling teams that are good is because they really they they start out at that young age with those USA teams. Um, they get those kids started early, um, and everybody kind of gets on the same page. Um, you know, just one builds on the other. That's right. You know, and you, you Camden County you know, is a good example right there. I mean, they got a huge USA program over there, and you know, junior high varsity. They're, they're, you know, they're they're phenomenal. They're a good program. You know, I think for a number of years, you look back Collins Hill up in Atlanta, same same scenario. Collins Hills just, you know, they, they've been the team to beat for a number of years. I don't think they're quite as good now as they once were, but they, they've kind of been a wrestling mecca up there. That's right. For the state yeah. of Georgia. They kind of set the precedent they for did. everything going on in Georgia wrestling wise. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, but a lot of good things going on. Oh, yes. And uh, again, these kids need your support, whether it's, uh, you know, in spirit or through your pocketbooks. You know, I'm just going right. to be blunt here. That's you know? right. I mean, because it takes it. It takes money you know, to send these kids off to wrestle. It takes them to go play basketball. You know, let me touch of... on that financial side of it a little bit. Certainly. You know, I, you know, being a past board member, I can kind of speak to this. A lot of folks kind of say, oh, the school, they buy this for the athletes, buy that for the athletes. Listen, the only thing the Tiff County Public School System pays for is a salary of these coaches. You know, there's a little bit of money. You know, the, the majority of everything comes from gate receipts, particularly football, to buy the uniforms and equipment. Splice will let you buy a little bit of stuff. You can, you know, just you know, there's a little bit of equipment you can buy with Splice, but um, you know, other than that, it has to come from these booster clubs and this community. Man, we're just reaching their pocketbook and say, hey, we're here to help. So, anything you can do is greatly appreciated. Yeah, so, definitely. So, I don't, a lot of good kids here that need support. That's exactly right. So, you know, a lot of a lot of folks think the school system's throwing away a lot of money on athletics, and you know, where the reality of it is, they're really not. You know, yeah. I just kind of want to 
get that out there and, you know, try to, you know, put a little truth behind that. Certainly, man. And, and you know, as a taxpayer, that's that you just see, you, you, you visualize everything. Oh, yeah. What that's you right. See. What you see or what you hear. And, and it's, it's not, not always, always true. That's exactly right, man. So, you know, and if anybody ever has a question about that, you know, not ta- kind of off topic, you know, Get with your board member. That's exactly Whoever's right. in your district, man, go talk Call to them. That's what they're there that's for. That's exactly right. That's why they got elected. That's right. That's exactly why they run is so we can bother them that, if we need to. Hey, that's exactly right. They, they represent the people. They, that's right. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions about it, that's who you need to get uh, with. So, luckily, this show, we've got an ex-board member who knows a little not bit much. about what's going on. And, and he can set some of that stuff straight for us. Now, that don't mean go calling him because he's not on the board that, anymore. So uh, call your board member because that's where he's going to direct you. That, right? to that's exactly member. right. I, I, you know, I may speak out of term. I don't want to do that. So <laughs> I, right. I'll, I'll refer you to the uh, the proper officials. That's that's exactly right. So, um, but yeah, please let's support these kids. That's that's what that's what this is all about. That's why we're here. We're not asking to uh, you know for a ton of money from anybody. I don't think anybody's oh, no, ever been asked. Not. Absolutely but not. when they go out and sell Boston butts or you know raffle off. Uh, uh, Trailers at the game, man. That's right. Give you money. That's right. That's exactly you know, right. There's a reason they're asking for the money. It's because they could use that money. That's exactly right. You waste money on other things, you know. Put back that carton of cigarettes and give it to a kid and help him, you know, uh, do keep keep out of trouble. Keep that's him right. off the street. That's exactly right. And, you know, and I thought about this on the way out here, too. And I know we're probably running a little long. But, you know, if you're watching this show and your kids are not involved, get them involved. You know, there's nothing better than getting involved in something. You know, it doesn't have to be a sport. It could be any kind of extracurricular activity. Well, Todd, what if I don't know how to get them involved? What do I need to do? You need to, hey, go to the schools. I mean, you know, exactly. go to that front office and say, look, you know, Randy, you know, he's a good kid. He's not involved in anything. You know, what can I get involved in, you know? And they're going to try to say, hey, what's he interested in? You know, maybe between the two of you, you can kind of coordinate and find something that, you know, get your kid involved in. So, um, man, it helps them along the way. It helps them down the road. Shoot, and, yeah. You know, um, I mean, keeps them off the street and keeps them out of trouble. That's right, man. We it, hope. It don't have to be athletics. We urge oh, no, athletics. absolutely not. It could be debate, one-act plays. Hey, listen, debate is, you know, sanctioned by the Georgia High School Association. Exactly. You know, so um, get them involved. I get think that's, involved. The, that's the main thing. I agree. I agree. Uh, with that said, Air Rifle is starting up. Yep. I don't. I have zero information on them. Yeah, I know um, Coach Rucker, she, uh, I know they've already started practicing. I, mm-hmm. I think they maybe have had a uh, – a match somewhere, match somewhere, I mean, maybe mm-hmm. uh, maybe Waycross. I think Waycross, is what she said. I believe that's right. Yep. Uh, you know, kind of a preseason deal, I believe, before they actually get into the season. So, um, I you know understand she's got some kids that are pretty good this year. She's yeah. expecting some big things. So, uh, yeah, I think this will be their third year in existence. I believe is that right? Some third or fourth. Third or fourth, and um, you know, actually, they you know they came out of the box pretty strong. They've they've yeah. done well since they came out of the box. So. Uh, Certainly wish them well this season, and I feel like they'll do good. That's right. You know, and another opportunity to showcase some Tiff County kids. Exactly, exactly. So, as usual, if you have uh, anything that you want to get to the community, get it to us. That's right. We'll be happy um, to get it on the air. We'll get it on the air and get it out to some people. We, uh, we're starting to get a bigger following, which uh, we're proud of. Absolutely. And it takes all of you at home to help make that happen. That's right. So, um, tell your friends, tell your family. Tell your friends, tell your family. Tell your enemies. <laughs> we don't care. That's right. <laughs> They, they probably need it. <laughs> they might need to hey, show more than anybody. You know, so. They may not be enemies after you tell them. That's exactly right. So, uh, well, that wraps it up for another good week. That's right. Um, I guess we'll see you in two weeks. That's right. Uh, uh, we enough. wish you all a Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's exactly right. Um, you, know, you can drop my gifts off uh, at a narrow media. <laughs> <laughs> the headdress, he'll post the address at the bottom. Uh, um, yeah, if you got anything, I mean, we'll take it. I mean, put it in a. a a manila envelope so he can't see the green through the <laughs> white envelope. Actually, you just go to the website and you click on the PayPal link. <laughs> and donate what you feel that you can give, and then I will divvy Super. out whatever percentage I feel you guys need. <laughs> Ooh. I smell a rat. <laughs> uh, we'll see how all this works out. Do that. Go to the site and uh, yeah, please do. We want to see how this works out. Please do. Go to the PayPal account and, and uh, give a donation so we keep this thing rolling. Uh, so uh, yeah. certainly you know, want to thank Donovan. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, and his wife Lee, because that's right. That's exactly. She's the real brains and backbone and brawn behind this operation. That's right. That's right. I I couldn't do it without her. 
I couldn't do it without her support. And of course, we couldn't do this show without you two guys. And, uh, you know, I. Well, I mean, really, you could. <laughs> well, no, you could I throw actually, a rock out there and hit two people that would probably just do, could do what we do. I, I guarantee you. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. You guys have, you've got the personality, and it's been a lot of fun, and it's been a good year. So, and, you know, Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy well, New you. Year. And, That's right. And, uh, or Happy Hanukkah, or whatever. Whatever. Whatever you, you, whatever, yeah, you, whatever know, you celebrate. Whatever your genre is. <laughs> That's right. Genre. We're hanging out with Jackie, getting on his good words. <laughs> Tell you what. So. Somebody say something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my. Uh, we, I want to point out, we do have a live web chat every week. Uh, when you log on to the <laughs> website, you can... Uh, I understand somebody named Beckham was watching a couple of episodes ago. Maybe you and Ranjack. Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, uh, our buddy Chris Beckham was on. I've got another podcast that we do, and uh, he was on there uh, contributing. Uh, <laughs> Some spirited debate. I just I, heard about that about an hour ago. <laughs> Who told you about that? Beckham? Mr. Beckham. Mr. Beckham did. <laughs> he was killing me, man. So, uh, anyways. Uh, but uh, Good friend of ours. Yeah, he, uh, he's a good guy. He and, and most people love him. So, <laughs> And uh, Donovan's wife, Lee, she was eating on tater tots. Mm-hmm. So Making she us didn't hungry. get all that nice sweet stuff that you just spit out to everybody. That, uh, Donovan, that's a shame. Yeah. She can watch it tomorrow, though. That's right. Yeah, she can go back and she can watch it tomorrow. That's, right. that's, that's exactly, exactly right. right. So, All right, man, we're going to get out of here. We were on YouTube. Um... Catch us. We'll be up tomorrow on there. Again. We don't know where we're at. We're everywhere. We're everywhere, man. We're kind of like Santa Claus. We're everywhere. That's right. We've made a list. We'll check it twice. We know who's been not in us. So until <laughs> so until then uh, until till next time, which will be the what's the date, Donovan? Two weeks. January second. Is that correct? Or- January second, brand new year. You'll we'll be around to do one. I'll be. Mean, I'll be here. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. Me either. So we'll see you on January second. We'll see you. We'll see you in a year. See you in a new year. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful Christmas and thank you. Thank you, everybody. So this is the Devil's Lair. I'm Randy Meadows. And I'm Todd Gann. And go be blue. It's all about the tea. Media Network. Your reality distorted.